Let's shift away from this world of madness Take a little time to enjoy the silence Feel the wind as it touches your lips Feel the sun as you close your eyelids Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going on a hay haul straight from pasture and we are taking you with us. This is actually one of many hay hauls for us. One thing that we have found incredibly beneficial for us financially and for our farm is to get as much hay as possible when it is first cut. It is much less expensive this way after the first cut versus the last and we have peace knowing our animals have enough hay for the year if there is ever a shortage, which happens quite often when hay farms start selling out. Our straps to strap down the hay were too short, so all we can do is our best with what we have and not strapping down the bales was not an option. So we always keep leftover hay strings in the back of the truck. They actually really come in handy for different projects. Earl was able to use a couple to extend the straps and it worked out great. We are home, it's time to get unloaded. So we're gonna unload, these are 21 bale bundles. We're gonna unload one of these here up by- Oh, whoa, 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 okay, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Up by where the goats are. <laughs> and then on the other trailer, we have, what are those ones called? Uh, they're, they're the three by three bales. The three by three bales. And those are going those are gonna be for the cows. So we're gonna unload a little bit of this here and then this is gonna go 
in a hay barn that we have away from the house, but whatever is gonna stay up here, um, it's just gonna sit out, and whenever we have weather, we typically just cover with a tarp to protect it for the time being, and then take it off again. We got all of the hay unloaded here at the house where the goats are. Now we are headed down to the barn to unload the rest where it will stay covered and that will be for the cows. Starting and managing a farm is nothing short of hard work. But because our goal is to be the biggest influence in our kids' lives, we do our best to turn every project into a learning experience, turn every hardworking drop of sweat into laughter, and every moment into a memory. days that are long. There are days where the amount of work can seem so overwhelming we don't even know how to begin. But with one step at a time, taking action and a major focus on our faith, we can go places we didn't even know existed. <laughs> 